right in the studio. This is the latest on my discast. I'm going to tell you about... So as you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you the latest stuff. What's up, I'm JR. You're chilling all right. Let's get started. Live from Jerome Harden Studios. This is the latest on my update that I'm willing to tell you about. So as you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you the latest. Hello, my name is Jerome J. Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios. The topic we're going to talk about today is business solicitation. And uh, what that means by business solicitation is, you know, people coming door to door unannounced. Um, people writing you random messages and all that stuff. Yeah, all that we're going to talk about today. So um, how y'all doing? Uh, this is the morning of October 1st, finally Halloween season or fall season or whatever you call it pumpkin spice or whatever but let's get to the topic so the reason i'm making this newscast i want to talk to talk this to y'all about it is because of the business solicitation unsolicited messages and all that stuff that's been go going through facebook lately um such as uh webcams uh random people from uh random countries messaging you do you want to make your business to let next level or do you want to grow your own business right now? Um, that questions like that always annoys me. Um, and uh, let's not forget um, the comments that you receive daily. Um, random links, broken links, uh, people posting links, piggybacking, especially fake graphic designers. And then you told them off like that. They get mad. They get defense or whatever. You know, that's a scam always uh, if they get to that behavior um and also um let's not forget the mail um not only does it happen on facebook you know it happens in the real world you can get email junk email you can get uh junk mail through your daily mail um you can get door to door um you can uh have even people walk up to you and try to try to sell stuff to you you know you see them in walmart parking lots you can see them in grocery store parking lot, you know, and it happened last week while I was going to Kroger and all this stuff, people just stand outside, going to sell products outside, but I'm like that too, but you know, I'm not going to walk up to your face and say, hey, do you want this, do you want that, I'll give it to you for a certain price, all that, you know, people just um, walk past uh, sellers, sometimes people may be interested, people may not, but you know, you just can't put pressure on them like that, you know, all this stuff. And when I was in Kirby, let me, let me remind you, that reminded me the story that I talk about when I was a Kirby salesman. You know, when I was walking around in a van, you know, going door to door, people going un unannounced, people didn't know that we're coming and all this stuff. Our boss uh, used to tell us that um, the appointments are already set up for us. And then we get in the van, we go about 50 miles or something north of Huntsville or whatever, west of Huntsville, and we go door to door, and we didn't even, the uh, homers didn't even know that um, we were coming, and we were not showing up, so um, we knocked on the door, and we lied to them about a shampoo product and all that stuff, um, you get a free clean shampoo, carpet cleaner or whatever, and then after they let you in, they brought the vacuum, you know, they show you the demonstration and then they put pressure on you to sit, try to sell you that vacuum. Yeah, that's the story that I was going to talk about and it'll be in the description below. So um, if you want to check it out, feel free to welcome to and comment about it. And anyways, back to business solicitation. So um, let's go back to Facebook on business solicitation and all that stuff, which is really annoys me because... Um, you know, I receive about 10 uh, solicitations in the past week more than I received business. So really that annoys me. Try to ignore it, but you know, more popping up, more show up, you know, random countries saying, um, do you want to grow your business to the next level right now? Asking me the same question over and over and over again. Um, yeah, so uh, what I did, I message each one of them say i was not interested please stop missing me just please stop missing me that you know and they said okay at least they didn't get mad i mean honestly i wanted them i expect them to get mad because that i didn't want to go into their scam you know people seem 
the same thing to me, you know, over and over again, different people, you know, you know, it's a scam for real. So, um, yeah, same thing, um, commenting, piggybacking on other people's posts, you know, yeah, and then have you recently, if you go on Facebook groups right now and you have a business, business Facebook group that is, you know that, um, you know, people are not in America, really, you know, people are all over the world, you know, posting random stuff, like, you know, they even posting porno on Facebook, I was like, what, what is going on with Facebook, are they letting this happen, I mean, for real, I mean, I even get one of these porn offers, invitation too, you know, and I get them on my messenger, I get it on comments, you know, I even get an email, so, um, yeah, so, and also, uh, I haven't been getting spam junk mail lately, but all of this, uh, daily spam junk mail, broken links, all that stuff, in the email, I get every day, it's very annoying, um, also, random people, um, comment, uh, messaging me, messaging me on Facebook, um, me, yeah, writing me uh, broken links and all that stuff. Putting comments on broken links and all that stuff. I even had one guy that commented on my post saying, post this on Gen Pop. Okay. I look up Gen Pop. It doesn't exist. I mean, what are you talking about, dude? Are you trying to start a scam or something? I mean, it's very spammy to me that, you know, people are going to desperate measures just to get money. Uh, just to piss people off, to annoy people. I mean, as far as they go, um, I've lost a lot of customers and leads because of these scammy graphic design artists. Um, you know, so, and I have received those too. You know, I have seen many of them back in 2020. And I posted a video about that. And there, the link will be in the description below if you want to check that out as well. Um, I did have a story to tell you about um, scammy graphic design artists. So, um, and then I saved a few screenshots as well. Um, I'm going to go over with these guys. Um, and right here, um, I'm going to go screenshots right here. Um, all right, so here's one of them. And I'm going to post this um, right here on this video. Um, it says right here that hello thanks to for responding to my post about funding your business out of your pocket i am with a black owned company that offers a seven step business credit builder program which also comes with your own business advisor and a what the hell and a funding guarantee of up to fifty thousand dollars under your eim and not your ssn you can finance the program for no money down or do monthly payments. For more details, visit my website, novaymoney.com slash savvy solutions slash business credit. Let me know if you have any questions. I also offer business funding and personal loans. What type of business do you have and what are your business needs? I mean, first of all, I didn't even message the guy. And second of all, why are you trying to message me in the first place? I understand you're trying to make money. I understand you're trying to help people. But, you know, we all need to help people sometimes. Sometimes we message people. Um, we send emails out there letting them know what deals you have. But don't excessively do it. Don't harass people. Please, that's the number one thing. Uh, reason that you're going to get blocked, that you're going to get kicked out of Facebook groups, that's well, what you're going to um, being kicked out of. Uh, that's the one of the main reasons that you're going to be uh, called out, you know, screenshot and everything. So um, if you're going to do business solicitation or message people online about the deals you have, um, you can post it on your story, post it on Instagram, post it on TikTok, post it on YouTube. Uh, tell people about it. More to mouth, you know. Once again, you don't have to scam people. I mean, you don't have to harass people. Once again, you do not have to harass people, okay? That's the number one thing that you're going to get called out from. So, 
please do not do it, okay? All right, so, and here's another one um, from Love574. Um, this is the daily messages I receive. Uh, Bailey Live says webcam strip. What is that all about? Um, and, uh, you know, and then I, the messages I receive is about group messages. Um, and also, here is another um, random um, message about, you know, office interviews. You know, I pay cash app, all this stuff. Give me your cash app, all this stuff. I mean, I forgot to tell you about the two cash apps. Yeah. So, um, you, let me tell you a story about what I received when I was, you know, early 2022, something like that. But about cash app, um. I had two people message me about um, receiving large amounts of money through Cash App. And uh, I had one lady write me saying that um, you can receive this much money through Cash App if you do this specific stuff. But I ignored that at first because I know it's a scam. Um, and, you know, sometimes um, you don't know if it's scam if it's a scam until it's too late. Sometimes it's a legit uh, opportunity, and then you know, I um went through a guy that you know, give blessing through Cash App. Um, I don't forgot what his name is, but um, he was a real nice guy. He um offered blessings to people that needed fifty dollars. So comment on comment my Cash App name. He gave me fifty dollars right off the bat. Um. So, like I was saying, let's get to the real story about why I received while I was uh, through Cash App. So, um, while I was doing Cash App, um, there is a lady that wants me to join in her team about receiving large amounts of money. I said no. And, you know, I knew it was a scam, so I went on with my day. Second time, she blew, keep blowing me up. Third time, she kept blowing me up, blowing me up, blowing me up, saying for I want to join. She even kept calling me daily and daily. That drive me bonkers, man. And then she, and once I said no, she was getting real, real mad that I didn't even join. So, um, and then the same thing with the other lady. She, um, at first, back in 2018, she wanted services from me. And I follow up with her, and then she, I haven't heard back from her yet. And then she's talking about, oh, I'm putting the logos on hold right now. So I left her alone at that. And then after a few years, she, out of the blue, came out to me with this cash app scam thing. She said, you can receive large amounts of money if you do this. You can uh, tag your cash app name, give me your password, all that stuff. No, I'm not going to do that. That's very annoying. That's very cringy that I had to talk about this because... I read stories that a lot of people lost a lot of their money because of this. So, very cringy. And, you know, I couldn't talk, uh, take the talk about it anymore. A lot of people lost their money, lost their rent money, and got evicted because of this. So, um, you got to be careful. You got to, you know, know who you're dealing with. And, you know, just avoid the business solicitation as you can. You know, if it's legit, it's legit. If it's not, you know, just move on. So, um... Yeah, so that's the topic I'm going to end for today. Um, be sure to tune in for our next newscast and, you know, stay alert, you know, and I'll see you next time on another newscast. But once again, until next time, I'm Jerome Martin, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Martin Studios. I am out. Peace.